Hi, right, it's time to do another video, and this one is a never-ending box of popcorn. That would be great, wouldn't it, if you had that at the cinema? So let's go and have a look now how we're going to do it. This is continuing on from my other popcorn video where I um, had the kernels going into popcorn and I thought I'd just do another version while I'm still thinking about popcorn for some reason. Um, probably need to go and buy some. Right, so we have an emitter and we do the same thing every time. Spin it over. I think most people want it at 90 degrees, don't they? It always comes in the other way. But never mind. So top view, spin the emitter around so it's in the bottom of the box then we need to make it the same size as the bottom of the box or a little bit smaller even so we put that in there and if we have a look at the emitter we want to put let's have 300 shall we let's really make this fly let's have about a thousand in the speed um, let's have them um, um, emit or stop emitting at 500 frames and lifetime 500 frames to match the um, the timeline. Uh, let's do some variations as well. Let's have a let's have a like a 20 percent. Um, yeah, let's do 20 percent. Let's have a like 360 rotation so they really spin. The 100 percent variation so they will spin all sorts of different directions. Um, and then we'll have show objects. Okay, so what we do now then is we just put these these two little pieces of popcorn in the emitter. And uh, let's go back to this view. Now we need to have a floor so they don't just fall forever. So we'll have a floor and we'll put a rigid, sorry, a collider body on the floor and the box will have a collider body on that as well and the popcorn we'll need to have uh, rigid bodies on them okay so now the only other thing i would say is these are small items and the collision um is set a bit bigger the collision um boundaries i'll show you if you go to Control d and you go to dynamics and expert tab um, I've already changed these, but I think I think they're on something like one and a hundred or something like that. Now we need to make these smaller, so I put in like 0.2 and five or something like that. Okay, and the steps per frame and the iterations per step, I think they're five and ten, and I've changed them anything like. 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever, something bigger than the five and the 10. And I think, I'm just going for 60, but it really depends on your processing speed on your computer, but just just put up bigger numbers and what's in there. And then if we, let's just see if we've got this right. All right, they're actually escaping slightly from the box at the bottom here. So that might be that the emitter um, if we just have it a little bit, a little bit smaller, maybe that would help. Let's bring that emitter in. Actually, I need to be able to see the outline of this emitter, and I can't see it. So where is it? Oh, it's down there. Look. Okay. So let's just see if that helps. Ah, let's bring it. Let's lift it up so it's in the middle of the box a little. There we go. That's probably going to work better. Oh, it's, I know why. I think the emitter is actually pointing down rather than up. Yeah, okay. So let's put 90 degrees in there. Oh, what's happened to that? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. It just, it's just rotated that way slightly. Okay. Um, yeah. I think really what the problem was is they were shooting down out the bottom of the box rather than out the top of the box. So that's all that was. Okay, so if we rewind and press play, and then we should get. Now, 
if you think that's too much, <laughs> which it probably is, um, just go to the emitter and take the take the speed down to I don't know, 400, something like that. Let's see what that does. Okay, that might be a bit better. So just a little bit of fun there, um, having never ending popcorn coming out of the box. Um, lots of settings you can play with. You can have it shooting out, you can have it just cascading out and it would just go on forever. You can have it as long as your timeline is and it would just keep growing. And it's a really nice effect when you've got other things in the scene and it's just like this never ending kind of load of popcorn coming out. So yeah, I've used it, something similar in the, in the scene a while ago. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, give Mike a like. Just below this video, just click on the thumbs up button. It will help my channel grow. It'll then mean that I can make more videos. And I love doing these, but just give the channel a like. Give it a little bit of love and then, and then it will boost and then I can work a lot more on, on this. I'll speak to you in the next video. I've got a great one coming up. I've just thought of it today. I'm going to do it over the next couple of days and get it out there in a couple of days from now. So speak to you soon. Mike German from Visual Animation. Bye for now.